What is up everyone? Today we're going to be expanding the cooling system in my network rack. Recently during networking part 7, I added three 120mm fans to my rack. I also raised the top of the rack slightly and the increased airflow has helped tremendously. I now run the rack 24 hours a day with the door shut and we've been having some really warm weather. We've been having some 27, 28 and even 30 degree days and the entire time I've had the door closed. So the bulk of the cooling I'm really happy with but it's at its absolute limit. So those fans are spinning 24 hours a day at full speed and the equipment, when it's a warm day, is still getting fairly warm. So the hard drives in my Synology are in the 40s and I would prefer them to be in the kind of upper 30s, low 40s during a, a really hot day like that. The Mac Mini is also getting a little bit warm. The Ubiquiti kit is the coolest out of everything. I think that 120mm fan directly behind them is really helping. The UDM is constantly at a really good temperature. It's great that you can check it on the screen at the front as well, so I've been every now and again just checking it to make sure that everything is adequate. So what I really want is an option for those boiling hot days to increase airflow in the rack temporarily. And I've got a little device that's gonna help us do that. I decided to purchase this guy. This is a 1U four fan unit that has a built-in temperature system that allows you to set a temperature and the fans only kick in when the network rack reaches that temperature. It comes with a little temperature sensor that we can mount in the back of the rack. That'll get a reading of the ambient temperature in the rack. And it's a very basic bit of kit. We've got power switch, display that controls the temperature side of things, and we've got fans that blow upwards and intake from the bottom. We've got a power input on the back and we've got the little terminals there for the temperature sensor to plug in. And that is it. Now, I'd like to say a massive thank you to a viewer of mine named Kieran. After watching part seven, Kieran contacted me and gave me a really nice little deal on this. I saw these brand new, I've looked at them a few times and I've never bit the bullet and bought one. So Kieran gave me a nice little deal on this as a used unit and it's fully operational. We're gonna test it in a minute before we bung it in the rack, just in case. He also wrote me a nice note as well, so I'm gonna read that to you guys right now. Hi Tom, I hope you enjoy using this 1U fan temperature controlled unit. Love the YouTube videos, keep up the good work. I like the new series and your new toys. Hey, thank you very much. If you are looking for anything else, let me know and I will have a look and see. All the best, stay safe and well. Many thanks, Kieran. So Kieran, thank you so much once again for getting in touch and sending me photos of this. Now my plan is, folks, in terms of positioning, let's have a little look at where I'm gonna put this guy. I've been kind of mulling this over and I think I've got the ideal location for it. So we're gonna ignore the blank plates for now because you guys will see a future video where we're gonna occupy a little bit of this space. Um, but down here is where I wanna give some attention. Now the reason I raised my UPS up 1U was so that I could access the battery without it hitting this bottom lip because if I mounted the UPS right at the bottom of the rack, I couldn't pull out the battery. But 1U is a little too generous. So I'm losing a lot of space here between this 1U blank, this 1U, I'm dedicating 4U to the UPS instead of its standard to you. So what I'm kind of hoping to do is do a little bit of cheating down the bottom end here. Now the fan unit is going to go here in place of this blanking plate and what's really cool is this rack shelf is vented so there's a nice gap here it's sort of half an inch or maybe not quite half an inch but a decent amount of a lip here that will allow some air to travel through the shelf and it's also a really shallow shelf so the back two fans on the new fan unit will be blowing directly up behind the Mac Mini shelf. So two fans blowing underneath it and you're getting a slight bit of air coming through these gaps and then two fans blowing behind it. So that's gonna be mounted directly underneath. But what I want is a little bit of a gap underneath the fan unit itself so that it can draw in fresh air from that 120 at the bottom. So I want to drop the UPS, but I don't want to drop it all the way down to the bottom because of that lip. I wanna drop it just a little bit up. So I've gone and purchased something here that I'm hoping is going to work out and I'm quite intrigued about this. So let's take a quick look and I will show you guys exactly what I've got. Now these are indeed half U blank plates. So yeah, that is quite cool. Let's face it, that is awesome. Okay, so it's just a blank plate and it's instead of being a full one U height, it's 
half U height. So we're going to do a bit of cheating. We're going to get the UPS down. Whether or not we mount this vented blank plate down, because it doesn't necessarily need to be screwed in at the bottom, so I can just drop this, then pull the UPS down, then put one of these guys above it, then the fan unit, and we're pretty much good to go there. What I don't want is to see any blank area. I don't want any revealed kind of um, rack on the side here because the thing is with this rack, it is now so clean and I'm so happy with it. I don't want to go spoiling it by having a, a kind of messy bottom end here. So that's why I've bought two of these just in case I need to. I think we'll get away with one, but I've got two just in case. So what we're going to do first is remove a couple of these panels at the front to make our lives a bit easier. Then we're gonna to have to pull the rack out because we need to wire this in. Now, before we do that, uh, Kieran sent me a nice short IEC cable so we can connect this directly to our UPS, which is nice. That's ideal because the connections for that are right next to it. I've got that IEC PDU at the back as well, so perfect. I've dug out a normal IEC cable just to test this with our side of the rack because before we screw it in, we just want to double check that everything is A-OK -okay with it. And other than that, I think that's all we'll need. So let's ditch some of this stuff in preparation and I'm really hoping that I can achieve this without powering anything down because if there's one thing I've been over the last few weeks and that is disruptive to the network. So I just want to let it run. I want to get some decent runtime racked up on these machines. So I'm going to be really gentle um, moving the network rack. I don't want to go powering stuff up and down. The UPS is obviously powering the whole lot. So really what I want to do is try and drop the UPS with it still operational. I have to do it a corner at a time see how successful that is. We could actually try this front portion now and see if we can achieve what I was hoping to achieve. We may have to use one of these half ones at the bottom looking at it, folks. Before we do any of that though, let's test this fan unit because there's no point putting it in if I can't get it fired up. Okay, so let's fire this guy up. There we have it. So we have 25 degrees displayed on the screen there, which I'm presuming is the temperature that the sensor is detecting. So I can't take any credit for this tip. Kieran said, if you want to test it, he said in his email, then get a cup of hot water. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Now let's hold that just above. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. So she's fired up and she's cooling the rack. Now let's remove the temperature sensor. So it beeps at you to let you know that it's come on. Very nice loud beep. I've removed the sensor from the cup so it'll climb back down. Still a good amount of airflow even though this is sat on the floor with no breathing room, so it would be even more impressive when there's breathing room. There we go. So just under 34, when it got down to 33, she clicked in. So let's see that again. Let's raise that up. Lovely. Functionality is really, really nice. Works well. The beep is super loud, but that's fine. You know, this is going to be kicking in once in a blue moon, to be honest. This is like a backup. This is what, what I was feeling with the rack was, yes, I'd added cooling and it was keeping things cool enough just about. But when we were getting really up there in those hot days, I didn't have anything where I could say, OK, the rack will automatically cool itself, go into like extreme cooling mode. I didn't have anything that would do that but this will do that, so that's really cool. So, Kieran, awesome. So I'm in the back of the rack, and what I'm gonna try and do is drop the front. I'm gonna slide the UPS back, drop the front, then secure the front, slide it forward, drop the back, and secure it. So I'm hoping that's gonna work. I'm not gonna try and film the process because this is gonna be a lot of fiddling about and not much to see, and it's gonna be very difficult to pull this off because of how heavy it is. Wow, that was intense. <laughs> So the UPS has moved down, that was not easy. 
um, but still kept everything active. It was just a case of holding it up while trying to secure four different sides. But um, yeah, it's now dropped down. The black panel did not fit underneath it, which is fine because there's still a huge gap under here, as you can see. So we've got one of those half pieces sat there. The other one will go just above it, right here. And the fan unit will go in there. So let's try and get the fan unit installed. So let's go. And again, this is sitting right up against the Mac Mini shelf, but there's a nice gap and vents and the back will be free, so... Okay, there we go. That's gonna have to be right up on it. That's a lot of weight. Very, very heavy bit of kit this is. So that is in. I'm glad it's towards the bottom. The UPS keeps going wonky because I haven't secured it at the sides yet. But there we go. That's that. Now, I'm hoping that this will fit underneath and close up the gap. Oh, look at that. Look at that, okay. Let's get some screws for that guy. So one little issue, I've got this ICPDU here and I can't plug the power cable in the back of the fan unit. It's in the way, so I'm gonna have to move this guy up. So this is how we're looking at the back. The PDU is now a little higher, which is great. And if we come around the front, we've got the fan unit in place. Now, this UPS, a little bit wonky also, it seems to be generally a little bit higher on this side, as you can see, so that's a little bit of a pain. Very difficult to evenly tighten it uh, while trying to ha hold it up yourself. So I might wait until I get another person to hold it up at the front while I can evenly tighten it, because that doesn't look too great. But for now, it's fine. Uh, 24 degrees is what the sensor's reading. It's just dangling out the back of the rack at the moment. I haven't attached it. That's going to be the final job but I figured out how to set the temperature. So we hold the set button for ages, and then we get the temperature that it's set at. So I've set it to 30, but let's just pull it down as a demo. Let's pull it down to 22, hold set again. There you go, and because it's 24, fan unit clicks in. Now the airflow is unreal. It really is good. So obviously the Mac Mini is getting a major benefit from this airflow. But around the back as well, because I've tested this around the back, the air is just gushing out the back of the rack. So when I get the back panel on of the cabinet itself, all that air will be flowing up the back really nicely. So this will be like the emergency backup airflow. So what I'll probably do is wait and see what temperature this is when we close up the rack. And that's when I'll finalize what temperature I'd like this. If I, it's quite warm in here today, actually. So, you know, 24 degrees is dangling out the back of the rack. So it's warm in here, definitely. So I've mounted the sensor and the fans have kicked on straight away. So I've just mounted it up here. And I've put it up there because it's out the way of this fan. And it's in amongst all of this excess patch cabling. So it's a hot little area there. I wanted it close to the top as well. So... Yeah, it's not in direct contact with any of these fans. Didn't want it sitting in the back of any of these systems getting airflow. And uh, it must be reporting higher than 30 degrees or whatever we set it to. So I'm going to put the back panel back on because we're completely done back here now. I also made sure that the cabling coming out the back of the Mac Mini shelf was not in harm's way of that fan grill because they're quite generous gaps in the casing of that fan unit. I wanted to make sure that none of that thin transformer cabling coming out the back of the hard drive or whatever was gonna dangle in there. Okay, so I've let this settle for 10 minutes or so, and it's decided it's 32 degrees in here. Ooh, by the way, I managed to straighten up the UPS a little bit, as you can see, so that's now looking a lot better. So 30 degrees in the rack, apparently. So if I pull this down, to 30, or I guess one degree below 30, so 29, because it's 30 degrees in the rack, it'll click on. Now let's have a little listen with the door shut. So yeah, lots more noise, but this is only gonna be clicking in once in a blue moon, hopefully. So judging by the fact that it's pretty hot in here today, I don't really wanna go setting it much higher than this, really, guys. I think 32 degrees for now 
is a good place to start and then I can see how much it clicks on because it does get hotter than this in here but not significantly so there we have it nice and it's great because I can now see what temperature it is in there not the biggest fan of the way it says one new fan unit with thermostat right on the front you know just advertising what it is there but you can't really notice it anyway I've only just noticed it myself really so that's fine and it looks looks nice these half panels worked out really well again not enough space to get the full vent panel underneath but to be honest guys it looks a lot cleaner like this so there you have it I am really really pleased with how this has turned out so there we have it that is the one new rack fan unit with thermostat installed successfully and fully operational. Kieran, thank you very much again for getting in touch and giving me such a sweet deal. I'm very pleased with this bit of kit and I think it'll help me out on the hot, hot summer days. So thank you very much for watching everyone and I'll see you all in the next video. Forgot one thing. Ooh.